Hello everybody, this is Everyday Taipei, and today we are going to UM by A13 building. So just to show you where it is in relation to everything, this is Taipei 101, Sheila Night Market, Taipei Main Station. So to get here, there's actually a few different stations you can get off at on the red line and the blue line. It's kind of equidistant to both. Um, I'm not going to be starting at there. I'm going to be starting here, walking a little ways, and then going to the building. Not a big deal. Very cool new building, so let's check it out. So if you've seen my other video, I have a Taipei 101 walk, and this part might look familiar to you. This is kind of the main thoroughfare. I started filming this. I filmed this in November, and so the Christmas decorations were just starting to come up. Um, I guess that's for another video. But you're going to be taking a right here and going past this building, which is actually a pretty cool building as well. It has a lot of good food and some interesting shops. Um, but we're going to go past it, and we're going to go to this new building, the UM Bai building, and it's it opened up this year and so it's really really new and has a few interesting things in it this area has a lot of food um kind of like everywhere in taipei except um if you were to come here and and only had one place to go and you wanted to try everything that taipei was famous for i think this area is probably the place you want to go to um, and this building too I when I think about it I think like it actually knocks out a lot a good chunk of anything that you can expect here it has a Din Tai Fung here DTF so you can get your good soup dumplings um, it has a Chen Shui Tong so you can get your boba as well and it has a lot of other things I, I think it has a pork belly bun place you'll you'll see it it's actually and it's really nice so um maybe this is the one building if you had to choose one building you might i might i don't know i don't know if this is the one that i can recommend if uh on being the only building that you would want to go to but it is rather nice as you can see we just passed the apple store building they look the same everywhere it is a nice building but nothing that crazy this is the courtyard, a few places to sit, and it's actually kind of a cooler place in the summertime because it has like this misters that turn on every once in a while. This part is very interesting and one of the main reasons why I wanted to show you this is because they have an escalator that goes straight up to the fourth floor, which is like the kind of main food court area. It is still, we are still under COVID times, so some of the buildings do check your temperature, like this building here. I got my temperature checked, I'm good to go, and so I'm able to go into the building. We don't have many cases, we don't have, we have zero actual reported cases in Taiwan. We do get people coming in um, from, Thai, from other places that have to quarantine, but uh, we've been very lucky to not have to deal with all of the stresses of COVID that the rest of the world has, so I'm very thankful for that. But that's why <laughs> this building is super awesome, because they know you just want to go for the food, basically. <laughs> this thing goes straight to their uh, food court area, and kind of like, I don't know, it's uh, their done up area? You, you're going to go see it, you can see those lanterns up in the distance. Um, so it's actually a really, really cool area to be. There's, there is actually more food in the basement, B2 floor. Every shopping center um, building that you go into, there will, there will most likely be a B2 food court across the board. I can't even think of one that doesn't have a food court in their bottom floor. So that's something to know if you're looking. If you're anywhere and you see like a department store, probably find it. But as you can see, we're entering the fourth floor. It's looking really nice. What are all these fake building facades? Um, if you saw my Da Dao Chen video, I'll link it in the bottom as well, as well as my Taipei 101 video. But um, the facade has that architecture style. And it's, it's something you rarely see here, and so they kind of made it a, 
how should I say, somewhat theatrical? It looks cool. Uh, I, it opened up and I was pretty, I think it, it adds something to it, really. It's really nice. And so you walk up here. This is where we're getting close to Chen Shui Tang, which is originally from, I think, Taichung. Uh, somewhere in the middle of, a, of the country, but it is credited as being the first place to invent boba. And so my pilgrimage here, definitely, I had to go here. I, I said it in other videos. I think if you... I think Chen Shui Tong is a really good place to go to if you had limited amounts of places to eat or limited amount of time to eat because I really like their beef noodle soup like they they really tried on the rest of the menu like you think you just go there for their boba their milk tea and their their boba but if you try the other stuff on the menu it's actually pretty decent so if you go there I suggest ordering stuff really their um, their radish cake is really good the the fried up one is really good like the other desserts are really good I'm always surprised so I recommend it everyday Taipei thumbs up but if you're going through here you can see there's like I th what they tried to do I think is kind of round up all the major kind of Taiwanese things like I think there's even a pork belly bun place there's like a fried chicken thing they have a dumpling thing I think they really tried to just give you local Taiwanese fare for the most part. They have a egg pancake thing here. Really cool. <laughs> I say that and then I show you a Korean restaurant. Don't look at that. Let's go. <laughs> Moving on. Tea place, I think. Yeah. What is it missing? What can I say that it's missing? Not a whole lot. Liang Lian place. Cold noodle place. I think maybe my simple pleasure. Yeah, so my simple pleasure is the Liang Mian. I love it. Every day. Like if I could eat it, I'd eat it all the time. Ice cream place. But it looks nice. Look at that pagoda. And they have like these flying lanterns. Kind of like where you'd see in Joe Fun, I think. Where you light the lantern and it goes up. It's very nice. They got a tea. What is that? A TKK chicken place. A very famous fried chicken place here. Kind of like the KFC of Taiwan. This is a boba place. I wouldn't say that that's like the most famous boba place or very hip, but if it's here, then it must be doing all right. I see. When did I come here? This was on a Thursday night. So it wasn't too packed. It can get pretty busy. Look at that egg pancake. Always good to have. I said that in other videos. Super good. Super cheap. And what else is in this building? So the rest of the floors kind of are just high-end shopping. So something I'm not super into but they have all of the luxury brands that I cannot afford so I don't really even try they have a nice movie theater here there's so there's ooh, look at that it's cartwheel cake another one of my favorite Taipei staples and it seems like they're doing a lot like they have a half boba custard one there so I did not get it this time the line looked long so I wanted it for sure um, yeah, I spent a little bit extra time looking at this guy because I was interested. It does, so this place has a movie theater. It's kind of a higher end movie theater. It's on the top floor. Um, COVID kind of happened, so there isn't that, I mean, there no one's releasing any movies. So I only saw Tenant pretty much was the only one that I've seen since since COVID happened, so not really going to the movie theaters as much, although I really want to. The cool thing about this fourth floor also is that they have a very big outdoor area, not for seating, but 
if, if there isn't any seating. Look at that. Look at that. It's nighttime. Taipei 101. And this building here, this triangular looking building, is actually the most expensive building in Taipei. I think for office space, they say. So it's, it's, I think it's almost as nice as Taipei 101. I never get sick of that view. Taipei 101 at night, a little known thing, a little that people may not know is like that light at Taipei 101, uh, that's where we came from. We crossed that street to go into the building. Taipei 101, this light actually changes every day. So there's like orange, red, blue, purple. And so depending on the day, you'll get a different color. I wanted to show you that one. I didn't feel like it was the best view, although it had an amazing view of, of that area. But I wanted to show you another area as well. You can go, there's like four different outdoor patios. Would you call them patios? Um, they're, they're supposed to be connected, but they're blocked off all the time. Also, look at these funny uh, sneeze guards. You want to be a pirate? Yeah. I thought that was funny. Anyway, yeah, they're supposed to be connected. Like you're supposed to be able to like walk around the buildings, but you can't really do that for some weird reason. They don't let you, so you have to go back inside and then walk to the other side. But I think this side is actually much more uh, has a much better view. If you take a look, it's got more seating, it's kind of bigger. The other one felt a little bit cramped, and you still get that amazing view of Taipei 101 at night. So awesome, we got blue lights tonight. So, really great area. I recommend this building, it has a lot of other cool places. Fika Fika, coffee is highly rated, it's also in here. Yeah, I just wanted to show it to you a little short little video of this new building that's in the Jinyi area. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any other places you like to go, let me know. I'll be seeing ya.